there, Gemini. It's time for your weekly card horoscope for the coming seven days. And just a quick reminder for everybody out there, should you ever wish to get a session with me, you do need to go to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com, or you can always just follow the links below. Also, for those of you that may have missed last week's horoscopes, or for those of you that just skip the intros where I give the new business, meh, I, I am not actually appearing in horoscope videos at this time. The information has just been coming really, really fast, and I'm sort of integrating into this new phase of my own spiritual growth, and it's just easier for me to stay in my stream of consciousness mode than to kind of stop to pull a card, step down from that frequency, and then try to climb back up while on camera. So I think that this is just going to be better for now. But don't worry, I'm not going away. Like, I'm not tearing my face off of YouTube. You're still going to see me on non-horoscope videos. So what is going on when it comes to your week ahead? This week is all about setting you up, to be perfectly honest. We are setting you up uh, for success, I guess you could say. With the Magician card upright as the overarching theme, there are going to be a lot of material shifts to your surroundings that are basically putting you in a position to kind of have a new home base. Now, a new home base could literally indicate, possibly, yes, a change in your living situation, a change in living quarters, but it could also indicate maybe a change in terms of what is home base with you know, your office, with how you're actually doing business, with your schedule. The magician is trying to bring all kinds of resources, material and immaterial, into your life in order to kind of set up the new platform from which you build everything else. What I am seeing with the magician as well is that a lot of you are going to be getting a great deal of offers to step into a new way of working or taking care of business in your life that pulls you away from what has sort of been the, the norm, what has been familiar, and actually putting into a, you into a space that is not only much more secure, but has, let's just say, further to go when it comes to upward mobility. It's You're, you're actually raising the cap on how high you can climb. And that's what I really, really like about this week for you, because with the magician, it's almost as though you are seeing, yeah, the glass ceiling getting broken. Now with the page of pentacles upright and the four of cups reversed, this is where we have the need to be ready to deviate from our sense of structure, our sense of routine, our any bubbles that we may have called home, you know, we have to get ready to dissolve them, dismantle them, because better things are waiting for us to just step outside. They're not going to come into our bubble. They're not going to adjust to our routine. We have to step out. The Page of Pentacles is indicating there is going to be some kind of offer of new uh, financial resources or maybe even a new role, a new project coming your way. Possibly something that could even promise a long-term security commitment, a long-term opportunity for you to step in to a space where you kind of know where the road is going. You know, we're in a lot of places of uncertainty right now. And even if we can't step into this immediately, with the Page of Pentacles, it is something that we can at least lock down. And that's important to understand, right? We open our minds. We don't just look at the external and say, what we see is all there is. You know, that's 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 being asleep. And with the Page of Pentacles upright, you're getting this offer. Now, this could be coming through an existing employment situation or from the external. If it's not an employment circumstance, this might be even be money or um, resources or an offer being put to you through a member of your household, through, uh, you know, your friendship circle. Because the Four of Pentacles reversed so close by is indicating Yes, there's some serious bubble popping going on. We, we are getting out of, you know, a space that we may have considered to be safe and predictable, and we are going into something better, right? The magician is breaking the glass ceiling. Well, what if he's also popping the bubble? And sometimes, you know, the, the, the shell, our, our tortoise shell can be our home, but it's also a burden as well. And with the Four of Pentacles, I'm sorry, the Four of Cups in reverse, we are clearing that, we are getting rid of that this week and replacing it with a better model, a better opportunity. As we step into the love zone, there seems to be some distractions or detractions coming up this week that are maybe 
putting a bit of a damper on the relationships uh, that you could be conducting, not forever, but the Ten of Pentacles reverse is indicating that some kind of pressing material issue is kind of cramping the style of your partner or maybe even somebody new this week. So you could even be meeting somebody, you know, it could be online, it could be in person, but because of what this external issue is, it's almost as though we have to take things very, very slow. This is going to be demanding a bit of a bit of patience. Sometimes the Ten of Pentacles reversed is not necessarily talking about money material stuff, though. It, it could be everything could be just perfectly fine as far as their material resources go. But it could be family concerns, a family detraction, possibly the Ten of Pentacles reversed. They're getting a heads up about a major transition that they have to make of some kind, and we are now working to get prepared for that major transition. And with the Ten of Pentacles reversed, it's important to understand that, yeah, it's not all coming down this week. That's the good news. The Ten of Pentacles reversed is positive in the sense that it actually tells us that we're just getting a heads up. Now, we may be finding out that a partner may be uh, contemplating a change when it comes to their social life, their family life, arrangements that they want to make with them, schedules they have with them, possibly even getting called away to help with an external matter. We ourselves may be also having situations going on with our own family members, our own household stuff that are, you know, are kind of competing with our partner for our time. So it's important to make sure that we are trying to keep this in a balance. It looks as though the bubble is just not permitted to exist <laughs> so much anymore. But when it comes to love and romance, things are going to actually be going through a rather stunning improvement, I think, because of this. The Ten of Pentacles reverse, the Four of Cups reverse, the Page of Pentacles. It's a time for us to let go of things that are old and outdated, things that we really, you know, maybe even for nostalgic reasons, refused to grow out of or tried to keep making room for every step we took in a relationship, or if we are looking for a new relationship, maybe we're still trying to manifest that in somebody else, let it go. Because the Ten of Pentacles reverse is indicating that you are on the verge of a big breakthrough here, and now it's time to clean up, pack up, you know, declutter all of the old stuff, even the stuff that feels good, because it's ultimately too costly to carry forward, right? It's competing with our relationship opportunity to be you know, all it can be. And we are also cleaning up the external as well. External demands, family demands, things along those lines. So it's a very busy week. Just make sure that everyone stays in contact with each other, that we keep each other up to date on what's going on. Because sometimes with the Ten of Pentacles reversed, partners might feel neglected, we might feel neglected, and it's really nobody's fault. So that is your horoscope. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, because you all know I appreciate it. And should you ever want to get a session, go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com.